Aesthetically, the NX Cub is all wrong. It's like having a training wheel on a Harley. Backcountry planes have traditionally stood tall and proud on tundra tires and tailwheels. They were made to excel in one area and one area only, short field takeoffs and landings. Other considerations such as speed, range, forward visibility, and directional stability weren't just secondary, they were barely worth mentioning. The NX Cub makes a mockery of all this. It's fast for its category with a cruise speed of 150 miles an hour. You can see over the nose and ground handling is stone simple. You can even lock up the brakes on landing without penalty. Rough strips aren't a problem for this overbuilt nose wheel and it actually takes off and lands shorter than a tailwheel X-Cub. I'm a traditionalist and expected to hate the NX Cub, but its performance and fun factor won me over. Yeah, that, that's, that's incredible. Wow. <laughs> so the reason I wanted to bring you over here was to, uh, you know, just kind of demonstrate that, um, yeah, a guy who uh, maybe isn't, uh, doesn't have the time to stay real proficient in a tailwheel airplane, but wants to go do this sort of flying, can have success in this airplane. The NX Cub vastly expands the number of pilots who can enjoy adventure flying, and that's just good for aviation. Cub Crafters is comprised of hardcore tailwheel pilots, so it's the last company in the world I would have expected to design a nose wheel airplane. But now that the NX Cub has made nose wheels socially acceptable, others will certainly follow. Dave Hirschman, AOPA Live.